Now, death means you're separated. I said, death means you're right. separated. When we die from this old land, we're separated from all, all sorts of life because it's, it's all gone. And when we come to Jesus, we are dead. We, and it means that we need to understand what, what Paul was talking about. He says we are dead in Christ. Amen. We're separated from, from the devil. We're separated from the powers of sin. Amen. We're separated from this old flesh that we have. In other words, uh, it no longer has control over us. Now, thank God, now, church, we, we, we are dead to sin. We're dead to the devil. In other words, the, the devil is still alive. Sin is still alive. This old flesh is still alive. But we have power over it through Jesus Christ if we're dead in Christ. Now, thank God this morning we have Amen. Strength. We're dead to Satan and, and the sin and everything. Otherwise, they, they don't control our lives. Now, I thank God, church, when I got saved, Amen. He, he, I was dead in Christ. I was hid in Jesus. You got to be hid in Jesus, church, or hid in God, Amen, to be overcome. Praise God. And and uh, Paul was uh, Paul was talking to the Corinthian church in the deepest sin. Now, sin is sin. Little sin is it takes you to hell. The same as a big sin. Man. But he was talking how, how good God is and how merciful God is in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 11. And it said, And such were some of you. But now you are washed by the blood of Jesus. Thank God we're washed by the blood of Jesus. In other words, church, Jesus died, shed his blood. Thank God we died when we went to come to Jesus. Glory to God. It says, You are washed, you are sanctified, but you are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus. And by the Spirit of God, or by the Holy Spirit, amen. Now, I, I brought this in because, church, we, we can't do nothing. We, we can't do nothing wrong. Right. We can't save ourselves. We can't deliver ourselves. We, I mean, we're just, we're just helpless. But thank God, church, when we, when we died in Christ, we were buried and hid with Him, glory to God. And now we, we, we are separated. I said we're separated. Amen. From the powers of sin, the powers of the devil, and the power of this old flesh. That means it has no control of us. And in church, one time, we were under control of the devil. Some say it's like being married. Amen. Yeah. And, and so and I want you to turn with me to Colossians chapter 3, verse 3 through 10. Amen. Now we are saved. We are dead to sin. We're separated, we're free from the powers of sin. And Paul was bringing this out to the Galatians church here, that how, we, how we've got victory. we got victory because we're dead in Christ. Amen. We no longer have, Satan has no longer power over us. I thank God, church, the devil has no longer power Amen. over us. Right. Sin has no longer power over us. This old flesh, this natural man doesn't have Amen. Power of, because we have the Spirit of God living in us and we're hid in Christ Jesus, glory to God. And we can walk in victory. Oh, we may mess up sometimes. We may come up short sometimes. But you know what, church? God give us control. And what we didn't have control at one time, but thank God we've got control. Amen. Over Satan and power of the sin. It says, For you are dead. I want you to get this. For you are dead, and your life is hid with Christ. In God. See, God, God doesn't look at the old man anymore. God doesn't see the sin in their life. So as we look into Glossus chapter uh, 3, verse 3 through 10, we'll see that we're dead and therefore we have, uh, we're, over, we're overcomers. I, I like to think I'm an overcomer to, today. Amen? Amen. So we, we, uh, God doesn't see our sins. He doesn't see the old man he doesn't see how we used to live, but he sees how we live now in Christ Jesus. Because that's that's us. when he sees us, he sees Jesus. Thank yes. God he don't see this old person anymore, brother John, uh, brother uh, James. Because thank God, Amen. He sees Jesus in us. Yes. We're alive in Him and we're well in Him, and therefore we're separated from the from Satan and his powers. So at one time we had no powers. At one time we, we were helpless. And, and that's why we need to look at how why we're dead because he gave us power over all of them because now we're in Christ and we're, we're, we're married to Christ and therefore we got victory this morning. Now he goes on and says, 
when you are dead in your life and your life is hid with uh, Christ in God, when Christ who is your who is our life, Christ is our life. Satan at one time was our life. His desires was our life. His whatever what he wanted to do, it was our life because we had no control over what Satan had and power over us. But now, thank God that we don't have to worry about the powers and the desires of Satan Amen. because now we have a new life in Christ. Now we our desire is to worship God, desire to do what God wants us to do because now, Amen, we don't have to do what the devil wants us to do. Amen. We're separated from that. Now, thank God. To this point that we're, we're, we're ahead of that. Praise God. So number, it says that num, uh, number five, verse five says mortify. That means to discipline. That one time we had no power that we could discipline ourselves. Now we have the power that we can discipline ourselves. Therefore, your members. Now we got control. We, uh, Sister Roddy sang that song, Be careful of eyes what you see. At one time we had no control of that. One we need to have, he, she said, that, uh, I believe it was that, uh, be careful of the ears what you hear. So I thank God we have, we, we have power to mortify this old flesh, this old desires, this old ways, amen, because this old man doesn't live, amen, amen in that house anymore. We've got Jesus living in our house. We've got the Holy Spirit, and he takes control of our lives. We, that's why we can do what we need to do because Jesus lives in us. We're dead to Satan. We're dead to sin. We're dead, praise God, to this old flesh because we're alive in Jesus and hid in God. And therefore, we can walk in the power and, and have a conscious, praise God, that when we stand before God, that we don't have to have and worry about anything because our conscience clears us because we know how we stand because we stand hid in Jesus Christ this morning. Glory. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap. Amen. Praise God. Mortify, different therefore your members which are upon the earth. Fornication, uh, cleanness, in order to infection with conception, almost to the lust and covetous, which is idolatry, for which things take the wrath of God cometh up on the children of disobedience, in which also in which ye also walked at some times when we lived in them. So we were separated from that. When we, when we die in Christ, we'll separate from all these lusts and all these desires and all of the flesh that, that, that one time controlled our lives. Now we have we don't have to worry about because we know we have power to mortify our disperse that we don't have to walk in them anymore because we've got control of that. And church, I thank God if, if we do fail in these things, we can go back to Jesus and say, Jesus, forgive me, glory to God. And church, we're, we're hid in Christ, so therefore he doesn't see our sins, but he sees Jesus. Jesus Christ and the blood that was shed, amen, amen for that very, for, for a purpose, glory to God. I thank God, church, I'm dead in Christ. And you're dead in Christ. Oh, the old ways don't matter no anymore, praise God. It says in verse 7, says that which, all, which ye also walk sometime. We, we walk that way because we were helpless. Paul said these things that I do, I do it. I, I try to do it not, but I do it. Why? Because of the flesh, because of the sin that lives in me. Sin lives in this church. Amen. But it doesn't have to have control over us. Sin will be in us. The flesh will, the old man will be in us. The devil will try to overcome us as long as we're in this old flesh. But thank God, church, one day we're not going to be in that old flesh. We're going to have a glorified body. We're going to be with Jesus. Glory to God. But now we've got to put up with these things. But we've got victory over these things because we no longer have to walk in this lust and deception and everything that the devil tries to put up on us. Amen. I'll give the Lord a hand clap, church. I'm going to want to give you that this morning. I tell you, I thank God we got power over that. At one time we walked like that, but now we don't walk like that. And I thank God for it this morning. And the Bible says in verse 8, But now you also put off all these things. We, we need to put, put off of anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, and filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that you have put off the old man with his deeds. We're dead from the old man. It's what, what, what Paul is trying to say. You no longer are, are, have to let this control your life because we're dead to the old man and we now we, we, we live in the new man. Amen. We're new creatures in Christ for all things that pass away. I thank God. Church, we're walking in the newness of life and we have Christ living in us because church, I thank God these things that we're talking about 
that no longer controls us. We're dead to this. We're dead to the old man. Thank God we got a new man. I'm a new man. I'm a new person. You're a new man. You're a new person because you're in Christ Jesus and hid in God. I said we're hid in God and therefore God sees us, amen, through Christ Jesus our Lord and Savior and give us a power that we don't have to be confronted by these things that, that, the, devil, that the old flesh tries to, to overcome us. The devil has no control. I said the devil has no control over our life. Sin has no control. If we don't, if we, if we don't let it, if we, if we let it, he will control us. Amen. I said if we let it because it's in us because we live in this old flesh, church. But thank God we don't have to let it control us. Amen. Can I hear an amen? Amen. Paul said, I, I do these things that I don't want to do. I hate it. I hate what I do. When we, when we fail God on these things, we, after we do it, we understand, Lord, I hate it because I've done it. I failed you. And we need to go back to the cross of Calvary. We need to go back to Jesus. Say, Jesus, forgive me. And Jesus will renew us. Praise God. And we still we can walk in victory because we're hitting Christ. Glory to God. Thank God I'm a new creature. I don't think that passed away. Why? Because I'm dead, amen, to the powers of Satan and dead to the powers of this old flesh that has no longer control because we're separated from that. Right. Because we're dead in Christ, we can walk in victory, church. Amen. And I thank God for that victory. So it says in verse 9, line not one to another, see that you have put off the old man with his deeds. That means the things that we used to do. It, 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 it's natural when I, before I got saved to do the things I did because I thought of nothing because church, as a, as a sinner, we don't see these things that is contrary to God. But now since we're saved, we see the things are contrary to God, and therefore we can walk in holiness and walk in, in the, the, the laws of God and satisfy God because now we're dead in Christ and we belong to Him. The Holy Spirit lives in us, glory to God, and we have the power to walk the way we need to walk if we'll just allow Jesus to Amen. live in us. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. But I love number 10. It's up to us. We get saved. We're dead, we're dead in Christ. But verse 10 says, and have put on the new man. See, we've got the new man. Thank God. We, can, we walk in the spirit and not walk in the flesh. Because we've got this new man. We're a new person in Christ. At one time I didn't have Jesus. At one time I didn't have his Holy Spirit. At one time I didn't have the blessings of God. But now I've got the blessings of God. I've got the Spirit, Holy Spirit living in me. And I've got Jesus, amen. And I live in him, praise God. And got the power to overcome all these old things. And the old man, because church, it, it doesn't give us a witness to God. Amen. amen. Oh, how I love Jesus. Amen. It says in verse 10, and, and, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in the knowledge after the image of him that created him. Thank God, church, we, we begin to realize now God has created us as a new person that we couldn't do. No matter how hard we tried, how, how, how much we uh, tried to please God, we couldn't do it because we, we didn't have that new man in us. But thank God we got the new man. We're over. He said in verse 10, and have put on the new man. How many glad we have put on the new person? Amen. We're not the same anymore. Amen. This old man don't live in here anymore. Now thank God for that this morning. First I, I tell you, we got power because we're dead. We gotta be dead. Dead means church, when we come to Christ, we died in Christ. And the Bible said we're resurrected in Christ. So church, when we die, when we the reason we're dead because we're dead in Christ. And we're resurrected in Christ in the newness of life with the glory. We're, we're being glorified by his power and his witness. And one day we will have a glorified body. But until then, we live in this old fleshly body. And therefore, we can mortify all these things or, or uh, discipline ourselves to these by the grace and the power of God. Because we got the new man. And because we, Jesus, we live in Jesus, not in the power of Satan anymore. Amen. Oh, how I thank God this morning. I'm dead in Christ. Amen. I said, I'm dead. how many dead in Christ this morning? Amen. Thank God we ought, we ought to be shouting this morning because church, I'm here to tell you, we've got the power now to overcome. Yes. Yeah, we, we may fail God's times because we're living in this old flesh. But thank God we got the new man. 
You thank God we've got the power to mortify these things that Paul was bringing out to the Galatian church because they were having problems, and we got the same problems in our church today as they had. We got the same problem that the Corinthian church had. We got the same church that the Roman church had. We got a problem because we're living in this old flesh, but still we're living, amen, and with a, being a new person because we have Christ Jesus and the Holy Spirit living in us. Church, I've got the power. I said, I've Amen. got the power. Yes. You've got the power to overcome if we just let God and the Holy Spirit work in our lives. Amen. We walk in this flesh or we walk in the Spirit. That's what God was really saying. That's what Paul was saying. We have an obligation to walk in the Spirit. But sometimes that old flesh will rise up. And sometimes it overcomes the Spirit. Not because the Spirit don't have power, but we've got control over this until we get to heaven. Amen. Oh, I'm glad, I'm glad I'm going to heaven one day Amen. and don't have to worry about this old body anymore, Amen. this old sin and the old devil anymore. But we, church, we're living in Christ. Glory to God. Amen. And have to put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge and at the image of him that created him. So God created us. Amen. And he was going back to Adam and Eve, how, how at one time they were perfect, at one time they walked with God and, and had fellowship with God. But church, now we can walk and, and have fellowship with God, but not like Adam and Eve did. But one day, church, we're going to be able to walk in, as God created us in the image of his precious son and walking in wholeness and walk in a glorified way, amen, that God, we can, we can shout with God, walk with God, talk with God, and be in a better place. Amen. Oh, praise God. But church, we can do it. We can do it if we keep our faith in Jesus. Amen. I don't care what the devil tells you, we can do it. Amen. We can look around and see the churches are falling by the wayside. We can look around and see people not walking the way they used to walk with God and everything. And that's a devil's job to cause us to be discouraged and everything. But church, we can do it. We, I said we can do it if we keep the faith. The Bible tells us, amen, if we keep the faith as Paul did. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7 and 8, church, this is, we're, we're in a battle. I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. Amen. And sometimes people forget that they're in a battle. I tell you, when you're in a battle, you don't forget to lay your, lay your weapons down. Right. You don't forget to have and follow what the captain tells you, whatever. So Paul said, I have fought a good fight. Church, let me tell you, you, can't, you just can't uh, not give up and not fight because we're in a fight for our lives. I said we're in a fight with the devil, with the, with the sin, and with the flesh, and we're going to fight this thing until, the, until we die. But church, I'm telling you, we are winners if we just keep the faith. Amen. Paul said, I fought a good fight. You just keep on, you just keep on fighting. And Paul was a failure a lot of times. I said, you read Romans 6, 7, and 8. You see where Paul was a failure. When he, even though he, he was filled with the Holy Ghost and saved and on his way to heaven, but he found that he was walking in the old law and see the new law. Right. In the old ways, see the new ways. We got it, we walk in the new covenant now. In other words, church, he went on works. That's what the old law does. It goes on works. They, they had their rituals and they, and they had their sacrifices and, and everything else that they would keep them in the, the, the blood under the blood over their sins and everything. But it didn't deliver them the way that God can deliver us in the new covenant. Amen. We try to do everything in the world, even though we're saved. Amen. But we sin, and we will sin. We, we can't just uh, pay tithes. Or we can't just uh, go out here and say, well, I'll fast 24, 24 more days. Or I'll just pray more. No. you got to go to Jesus and say, Jesus, forgive me my sin. Then you can fast. Then you can pray your tithes. Then, then you can pray. Because nothing can save us except Jesus Christ. And we're shed by his blood. And we have to, be, we have to die in Christ. And church, that's why we got to pick up our cross every day and follow Jesus Paul said, I have, kept, I have fought a good fight. You've got to fight this old flesh. Yes. You've got to fight the old devil. You've got to fight this old man. And Jesus has given us power because we're dead and live in Christ Jesus. And we've got to let the devil know we're not in you anymore, devil. We've got the victory through Jesus Christ because we're hid in God. Amen. I thank God I'm hid in God. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. That means he was ready to, to meet his maker. 
And it's up time, church, we're going to meet our maker. And we may get meet it sooner than we think, amen? But he said, I fought a good fight. I finished my course. In other words, I am ready to go. Paul knew he was, not, he was ready to go because he knew that the chopping block was, was facing him. Mm -hmm. Well, we got death facing us. But we got to die in order to live. I said, we got to die in order to live. Praise God. We're dead in Christ. So church, we don't die anymore. The whole thing dies. It's in no physical body. But that new man in us that, that we're in in Christ, thank God he will, he's alive and live forever because church, that's what God wants to do. He wants us to have a good fight. He wants to finish our course because this old, this, this man inside of us is going to rise up victorious, glory to God, and we're going to have a glorified body, and we're going to live forever and be free from the, the devil, free from sin, and free from all the things that the old world's trying to fight us with. To hear an amen. amen. Paul said, I'm dead in Christ. We got to be dead in Christ. We got to understand what that means, church. We're, we're, we're separated from, from the devil, from the world and everything. Now we live in Christ. He said, I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Amen. We can make it, church. We're dead in Christ. We'll just keep our faith. We can make it to glory. Amen. That's what he says. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. I'm here to tell you, church, we're, one day we're going to see that with crown. That is one crown that everybody's going to receive is a crown of righteousness. Amen. And church, I, I, nothing else, I want, I want that crown of righteousness. I need, I got to have that crown of righteousness. Amen. Because church, when I stand before Jesus Christ, we understand what the scripture says. I'm going to take that crown of righteousness and lay it at the foot of Jesus and worship him and Amen. praise him. Because he made it possible that where I am then, I could glorify God and glorify Jesus because there I'm in heaven glorifying God and be with my loved ones glory God and be with Jesus. Yeah. I will lay that crown of rush at the feet of Jesus and glorify him. Yeah. It'll be worth it all, church. Yeah. But we're in a we're in a fight. We're in a battle. It's, it's, it's the flesh, it's the devil, and and church it's the world. But we can fight a good fight. Verse 8 says, And his fourth third is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. That means he, he, he's in heaven. He knew where he was going. Amen. It says, And not only me, Paul said, Paul not only saw him, but he saw us. Yes. I said, He saw us. He, he saw the Corinthian church. He saw the Galatian church. He saw the Roman church. And he saw the cross of crown church. church any church, amen, amen, is ready and living for Jesus Christ. One day we're going to receive a crown of righteousness and we're going to live for, with God and reign for him forever and ever because we're hid in Christ and hid in God, glory to God, and we're, we're separated from the world, from Satan and the powers. And one day this old, this old man is so blessed, he's going to lay it down and we're going to be in the glorified body and we're going to go to be with Jesus. I said, we're going to go be with Jesus. I thank God. I'm dead in Christ because the promises and the thing. Jesus had to die that I could die, in, amen, with him. Amen. He shall give me on that day, and not, not to me only, but unto all them that love his appearing. Did you hear what he said? Paul was using the first. Uh, uh, Isaiah and, and, and Corinthian church. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. It has uh, it is a, man, heart, a man's heart that what God has in store for them, that number one, that love him. Amen. How many loves G God this morning? Amen. How many waiting on him this morning? Isaiah said that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither have you in the heart of man. What God has in store for them, that wait for him. I'm loving God and I'm waiting on God because church one day he's going to appear and praise God. I'm going to receive that crown of righteousness that I can lay it at the feet of Amen. Jesus and worship him and praise him for what he does. He, he, Jesus dead, had to die. Amen. That we can be dead in him and he did God. That we can have a glorified body and we can have victory over sin, flesh, Hallelujah. and the devil. We've got victory. That song says, I've got victory, I've got victory. We've got it because we're dead in Christ Jesus, and we need to stay dead. I said we need to stay dead in Jesus, hid in Jesus, and hid in God. Amen. That the devil can't 
good thing. Get to us. Oh, I thank God this morning that we're here to God. But we need to understand what, dead, what, what it means to be dead. I'm dead, in, I'm dead, Paul says. You are dead because of what Jesus did and what the, uh, we accept it by faith. Would you stand this morning? I thank God, church, we're dead this morning. Yes. We're dead in Christ. And we're hid in God. How can we lose a battle when we're, we're hitting, when we have Jesus? Amen. And be hid in God.